slutty twisting types. G'day legends, we're back, and uh, the new episode, episode of a quarter chop on the rear of the GQ, um, because we need to fit this, we need to fit this Razzler Tura bar with a couple of swingaways on it, which will get rid of this water jerry as well as the spare tyre, so uh, just jack the car up taking the rear wheel off, put a jack stand under the back there and uh, give us access to remove this flare so we can put a cut straight through there. So quarter chop, uh, going to follow this line through here, there is a little bit of a height difference, so we'll try and make it look as nice as possible. Uh, picked up a pair of these off of eBay, they are literally quarter chop infill pieces, passenger and a driver's side, and I've just hit them with some weld through primer. So go along, grab a straight edge. I'll uh, mark, well, this is basically a straight edge to some degree, and that is nowhere near a straight edge. Stay with me. Back again with a straight edge. What I'm gonna basically do is mark that line across through there, and then we'll sort of bring it around and pick up this second fold line through here. I'm taking the tail light out, just so I make sure I don't set anything on fire and uh, use the old trusty six inch grinder and we'll start marking and cutting. So going along that fold line, what I'll do is I'll cut to the actual tape. So what I've done is I've actually sat it down by about a mil, which is going to be our cutting disc. Uh, come around the edge here, and then that's sort of what we're going to have, I think. Might even just go down to there. That's better. Just started to pull out the uh, outer skin to see a nice line through there of filler. So she's had a, uh, she's either had a whack, which I dare say, oh look at this, this is all filler. It's definitely had a whack. Oh well, we'll cut it out.
All right, so that outer skin is now off. That's now our cut line. Uh, it looks nice and straight, which I'm happy with. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to follow this edge straight through here. Straight through there. So I'll put a straight edge up in there. I'll mark it as best as possible. Alright, so for those playing at home, this is what I've come up with. That's the inner cut. So I've joined up our, oh sorry if that's a bit bright. I've joined up our line here, taken it through, and then picked up our line over here too. So we'll just go through with the grinder, pick up those two edges, and uh, make sure it fits. I'll get back to you. All right, so from the underside, that's what it sort of looks like. We're clearly going to have to do some uh, some trimming around these edges just to get them to sort of fit nice. But overall, that's not too bad. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all these edges. I'm going to sit up probably about 10 mil exactly. I might even just flappy disc off to that line there, and uh, we'll hit some metal. And then run around all the inside too, expose all this metal here. Uh, so we've got ourselves a nice surface to weld to. What we'll do then, let's grab our plate. Our plate here goes with a little bit of trimming. It'll go something a little like that. Right, confirmed what we thought. No choice but to take it all back to bare metal now. So after a ton of cutting and shaping and test fitting and refitting, I've actually got this to sit really nice. Uh, but at the moment in the old trusty mini, I've got 0.9 mil wire. So we will get this out and uh, swap it over for some 0.6. Radio, it's the uh, it's the next day, and we're going to pick up where we left off on the quarter chop. Got the plate tucked in, tacked in, I should say. We'll now come across this front section. Oh, might help if I actually turn on it live. Boom. Um, tack the rest of this in slowly, slowly, and we'll get there.
All right, legends, we uh, might call it a night there. That is our passenger side quarter chop just about done. There's a couple little pinholes that I'm just going to clean up uh, and give it a bit of a finish. And then what I'll do is I'll sand up to this line here, just give it a little scratch in and then hit it with some, uh, some primer. That way it'll protect the metal, stop it from rusting. This car is going to the panel beater once I'm done. Um, as Mick wants to do a whole heap of work to it. So I'll see what he says about uh, either just blowing in to this line here to keep it all sort of uniform or we'll uh, just leave it primed and then once it goes to the panel beater they can they can sort of fix it up. But looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. It'll uh, now go on to the other side.